Good morning again. Uh, my name is Ricardo Sirov. I'm the CEO of uh, Nanogy Sensors, Nanogy Nano Sensors, and this is a different type of uh, species. This is a chemistry project. So I hope I'm not scaring anybody. Uh, in any case, we'll start by saying uh, the obvious. Terrorism has changed the world. We in Israel have been aware of this uh, as part of our existence since it, it, its inception. Globally, it's been a focal point uh, for tens of years and exacerbated by the attack on the uh, U.S. ten years ago, almost uh, exactly. Now, either local or global terrorism employ a very wide range of uh, methods to change our way of life. We're going to be talking today about things which are very, very common, like explosives but also we're going to be talking about other types of threats that have already been employed successfully to terrorize our way of life, like the anthrax envelopes in the U.S. or the sarin nerve atta uh, gas attack in the Japanese trains. Now, what we bring is uh, the next step of uh, detection uh, devices which are based on nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a very sexy word, a very uh, common buzzword with very little actual applications. And this is uh, the actual application of uh, nanotechnology. What you see on your left hand side there is a nanowire. A nanowire is, as it says, a wire with a diameter of maybe 20 to 30 nanometers and the length of several microns. Just to give you a frame of reference, this is 100,000 times smaller than a human hair, and is actually very, very close to the order of magnitude of the molecules that we're trying to detect. Uh, what we do with this nanowire is we apply to it with microelectronics techniques two terminals, and we make it into a FET transistor. This is a silicon nanowire on a silicon uh, wafer, and now this is a field effect transistor, actually a transistor which is very, very sensitive to its immediate environment. This is still a transistor and not a detector. To make it into a detector, we add to it a chemical species we call a receptor. On the surface of this nanowire, this receptor has on one side a functional uh, group that will attach to the silicon wire, and on the other side it will have an antibody or a key that will attach itself to, this, to the molecule we intend to detect. Now, once, and now if you look at the right-hand side, of the picture. Once the target molecule attaches itself to the nanowire, it will change the intrinsic charge of the nanowire and it will effectively change the response of the transistor. So immediately after detecting or con uh, reacting with the target molecule, and it doesn't matter which molecule we, we choose, we will get an electrical signal which uh, essentially tells us two things. The species we are trying to detect is in the, surf, is in, the, in the sample that we are detecting, whether liquid or gas, okay? And the other one is the uh, amplitude of this signal also tells us what is the concentration on the sample that we are testing. Now, if we can do one nanowire, let's make a lot of them, and we actually make arrays of hundreds of nanowires, and if we can put one receptor to detect one molecule, then let's put several types of detectors to detect many, many molecules into what it's called a multiplexing device, or the ability to detect many mo molecules with a single device, with a single sample, in seconds. But we've done even better than that, but actually developing a technique called fingerprinting, okay, by which we apply several detectors, that, uh, several receptors, each of one that can detect a functional group, and by actually uh, finding the response of a series of nanowires okay, to the target molecules, we get both uh, the identity of the molecule and we get the concentration of the molecule in this particular uh, device. And we can do that for essentially a huge number of different threads on a single chip. This is what it's called a lab on a chip, and this is an actual lab on a chip. Okay, we can detect then explosives, biothreats, chemical warfare agents, and more. Okay, this is what a single nanowire looks like between two terminals. This is an array of 200 nanowires on a very small millimeter by millimeter and a half area 
this is looking into it. This is a silicon chip already with the whole system on it. Okay, and this is the device. The device itself, this is a breadboard, of course. Uh, prototype is about half the size of my laptop. Very portable and very fast. Achievement so far. We have a proof of concept of a nanowire array, all the manufacturing methods done, all the chemistry done, a miniaturized uh, system, and successful test on most of the, on the most common uh, uh, standard explosives, and also those explosives employed by uh, terrorists, which are very hard to detect by common and use techniques, like uh, PETN or TATP. Okay, broad patents and expanding portfolio. Okay, market drivers, either performance, cost effectiveness, and regulator drive, drive the market. Okay, the market today is uh, uh, of uh, trace detection is held by uh, mainly two companies, Morpho and Smith Detection. Okay, we cannot go into it, but the vital advantages versus all available uh, technology are, are sensitivity, orders of magnitude better than available today, specificity, meaning we detect the actual molecule we are looking for and not its cousin or its neighbor. Okay, minimizing false uh, readings, the ability to fingerprint uh, um, a threat, those, thus detecting a huge library of, uh, of uh, molecules, easily introduce new materials, real-time instantaneous results, very high reliability because of the huge number of uh, sensors, very high throughput, this is instantaneous, okay, gas and liquid samples, totally non-invasive, Okay, miniaturize, and at the end of the day also low capital and operating expenses, and we think we will provide what is a compelling answer, okay, to the market needs. And we'll finalize by saying that we have already gone through the proof of concept. Our next step is going to be a step that's going to build us to a fully functional uh, prototype and validation test, and then from then on, of course, to the market. We sh should we get the grant? We'll use it to build this uh, prototype and, of course, done, do the validation tests. Uh, we have a very strong team led by Professor Fernando Patolski at the Tel Aviv University and by myself, balance between academics and industry, science, engineering, focus and comprehensive. A very strong board of private investors and an advisory board now headed by uh, Yuval Diskin, the former head of the Shabak, the Israeli Security uh, Services. So what we think it is a great opportunity, creating a range of solutions for huge and growing markets, fulfilling pressing needs, make, giving an answer to the market uh, drivers with groundbreaking technology, valuable IP uh, for the company, a very strong team, and of course, looking for strategic partnerships. Thank you. Thank you. And I apologize. I apologize for not introducing